Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna show you how to draw a raspberry. So grab your pencils and let's get drawing. First things first, you wanna get your stem established at the top, and there's a couple leaf shapes that would be over here. Um, little tiny little leaves at the top of the raspberry. So just like that, um, we'll fix this up, but this is what we have at the starting point. And just kind of the, the main part of the raspberry will kind of be like this. And this is a really good way to kind of start your foundation of that. So there's actually over 200 different species of raspberries out there, believe it or not, but only I think a couple of them are mass produced and common to what we kind of eat or buy in the supermarkets and things like that. So what we wanna do is just note that um, the actual shape of the raspberry itself is gonna have all these little kind of bubbles to it, right? A raspberry has uh, multiple different little pieces to it. So I would say that you can do that by in one of two ways. Um, around the sides, what you can do is just keep in mind that the pieces will be a little smaller because of the angle of the, the view. So you can kind of start at the top left and just work your way around. So what we can do is get a piece like this and then another piece over here and just continue, right? So we're gonna basically keep this moving in this way and it's a bit tedious and it takes time to do this whole thing. So what I would say is you can just go from left to right and follow how I'm doing it, right? So I don't continue a whole circle. I do a C, kind of like a C shape, and then I'll do another C shape here and then another C shape and another, and that's how you kind of create what we're doing. So kind of follow along that way. Um, what else can I tell you? As you get to the center of the raspberry, you can actually do a full circle oval shape. The reason we were doing the C shapes on the side is just because that's more to show the curvature of the, the berry itself, right? So, um, so keep that in mind. And then as you go th this way, so as you go kind of around, um, you also start doing the, the C's on the other side. You, you'll start to do something like that on this side. So this is over here and this is over there. Um, so let's keep this moving. So they say that May 3rd is National Raspberry Popover and Tart Day. I had no idea there was a national day for raspberry tarts, but there is. So I believe that's in the United States, but uh, it might be a worldwide fact, I'm not too sure. So we're starting to pull this together and in doing so, you just basically keep this going across the whole, the whole top, if you will. And like I said, they get, the area gets smaller as you go from left to right. So that's kind of the first, I guess, if you will, the first way of, uh, the first row, sorry, the first row. I think there's already some variation here that I wanna fix and nothing wrong with that. Just grab your eraser, fix it up, and, you know, make it look a little better if you need to, so. That's the first row, so that's basically how I would kind of create the first row. You might be tempted to have each row look very uniform like this, and then have each of those little, you know, bubbles very symmetrically placed, but in reality, a real raspberry is gonna have variations, and you might have ups and downs, you might have different shapes to it. So don't be tempted to make it too uniform. Your raspberry might look a little fake. So just try to keep that in mind. What I'm gonna do is speed this part up. I actually wanna draw the rest of this raspberry in each of these pieces. So I'll speed this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. We basically just finished up all of these little bubbles that are appearing on a raspberry. Um, what we'll do is we'll work on the top. So typically a ra the top of the raspberry has a piece um, that kind of holds the leaves in place. The piece might look like this, kind of a, a wave-like piece that kind of, kind of looks like that. And, uh, and uh, what I would also suggest is that this here should actually look a little more like we're kind of curving this piece kind of like this, right? You kind of want this. So 
to look curved. So I think over here, what we need to do is get some of these pieces just looking, how do I explain it? Just a little bigger and a little more rounder over here. And this will actually, um, I think, make it look a little better. So let's see if we can make this work just ever so slightly. So let's fix this. I think I probably should have started just a little different. Um, So I just added a piece there that kind of shows that this is kind of this round like thing, right? So that's basically what I'm doing. Now, because I just did that, um, this piece at the top will look a lot more like it kind of flows together, right? Um, so let's get, let's get a 5B and let's just add the ever slightest bit of, um, darker tones just along this line and I'm just going in an up and down pattern so kind of up and down up and down I'm really just creating a difference in tone that in, re in reality does actually look like um, top of this piece from there you can kind of go down with your with your lines you can just kind of extend them down like this And you could add just the ever slightest bit of um, your smudge technique to kind of let this blend together. <clears throat> okay. From there, let's work on the leaves. We could kind of further say that, you know, this leaf over here is going to kind of go like this. And another leaf over here will kind of come up and back down. And another leaf might be over here. Yeah, let's speed this up. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll be right back. We'll just do all the leaves and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we kind of did the rough part of the leaves um, just to kind of show what some of these leaves can look like on the raspberry, but we definitely want to change and focus to, you know, actually drawing the, the main berries. So um, the berries are really interesting because they have this kind of texture to them that you want to create some light and some glare because in reality there are some, some real lights and glares that appear. So I'm going to sharpen my pencil just so I can get a very nice fine um, tone here so let's do that okay and what else can I tell you about raspberries so basically raspberries um, the first cultivation was documented back in the fifth century um, basically documenting that raspberries were like being cultivated and appreciated and enjoyed and, and things like that um, and they say that the people of Troy in modern-day Turkey um, were the first to note the appreciation of the raspberry fruit. So you can, uh, you can point it out to them that they were the first to kind of realize how great this fruit is. So in each of these little kind of what I call bubbles, what we want to do is just um, create the shading. You want to make sure that you have some real nice shading in each of these. But before you do that, I would say that you can just redraw the outline of each bubble. If you can do that, you'll have a better kind of outline of your raspberry and just you can kind of see how clean and crisp this looks so I would say that that's probably a really good way to um, get this done so hopefully you're you're following along by the way are you drawing along how are you doing are you having any troubles um, or perhaps you're just watching either way thank you so much for watching we appreciate having you as a subscriber so uh, Let's, uh, let's kind of quickly do this and then I'll start doing the shading for you, okay?
I don't know about you, but raspberries are very, very delicious fruit. They uh, kind of reminds me of like like blueberries or cherries. They're one of those those berries that are just delicious. Um, I think they're really good for you. You can see that just by um, reestablishing these fine lines in a in a proper way, this drawing looks a million times better already, and we haven't even put the shading in. So, what I'm going to do once we finish this up in about you know 30 seconds is I'm going to add in the shading, and you're going to kind of see how this all comes together, um, this entire drawing really. So. By the way, notice that on the sides, they're smaller, like these pieces are smaller, just to show some realism with um, the 3D effect of this drawing. So that is done on purpose, and it's, it's purposely meant to like show how real this raspberry should look, right? If any smudging happens, you're, you can just kind of go in and just um, erase anything and just like adjust as you need to. So I'm using a 5B, and I'm gonna to try to make a conscious effort not to smudge things as I do this, but um, watch as I go through and do the shading. I think you'll see this look a lot more realistic um, as we do that. So I'm gonna start over here, and I'm gonna kind of try to go darker on the left side with a light source over here, okay? So notice how I'm just going dark on the bottom left part of each of these. That's just the starting point um, because each of these little pieces has a round effect to it. So you want to start by going dark with the bottom left on each of these. And then we're going to smudge it out to let that lead kind of bleed through the rest of the drawing and kind of move around. So let's speed this up for just a very quick second. As I do that, I'm really just going to continue what I'm doing here. So I'll be right back and uh, I'll join you in a second. Okay, so we're back. Uh, you can see I quickly just put the shading on the bottom left of each of these little bulbs, if you will. The reason I did that is because we have our light source coming from the top right. And what I wanna do right now is quickly show you how to let the lead kind of bleed around the page. So I'm just gonna take my finger and just kind of move this a little bit in a you know, somewhat of a circular way, not necessarily circular, but I'm trying to push the lead that was drawn on the bottom left and let it kind of move up into the other areas in which I did not really add any shading right so that's really what I'm doing um, it's not there's no perfect way to do that but um, just carefully with the eye just make sure that you do that in the best possible way that you can um, I would also say that you can um, in some of these connecting areas where you have just the ever slightest little bit of um, space right you kind of have some space between each of these pieces you might also feel like you can um, just fill in that little void. There's there's obviously going to be like darker areas there, so you can also fill in some of that. So I'm going to do that with you. Um, you, you typically don't want like kind of white space where there's going to be like a void or like a kind of a fill area. It doesn't look realistic, right? So um, you can either use your 5B or you can kind of grab something a little darker either way. Um, just identifying that is probably a good thing to do. So let's do that together. I won't speed this part up, but I'll kind of walk you through that and just kind of finish this off in a minute or two. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Hopefully you're, I don't know if you have a sweet tooth or not, but um, I wouldn't mind having a nice raspberry myself, but I don't, I don't have one. So <laughs> you can also add some curvature lines on these. So there's nothing wrong with even just putting a few lines just to kind of show um, that these are like curved, curved elements of this drawing, right? So, it's 
crazy how just even a few lines makes things look even more realistic, right? So notice how I just did those lines on there. It looks even better. Um, what else can I say to finish this off? Um, you might want to just clean up the lines at the top. So cleaning up these lines over there could look a lot better. And you might also want to just add just a little bit of darkness to this piece over here. I feel like it's just, it's too bright and it's just kind of sitting out of place. So just darkening that up can look great as well. And you might also want to just, um, just fix up any kind of, any part of the leaves that we drew that you might feel are a little out of place as well. So. But you know what, it doesn't have to be perfect. I, you know, this is artistic sketch and a drawing, so don't feel like it has to be exactly like mine or has to be, mine has to be like someone else's, so. Um, I think we're looking pretty good. Uh, what else can I say? I might wanna just, just add in just the ever slightest bit of shading at the bottom, because in reality, this is gonna be darker, right? So this whole area at the bottom left is definitely gonna be darker. Um, the whole bottom area left over here, right? Um, light source over here means that you definitely have some darkness here. You could even grab a darker pencil type like the 8B um, or 7B and just even add in some darker tones like that. So don't be afraid, uh, but I would caution you to go lightly because once you start using an 8, um, things can get very dark. So you just wanna be careful as you do this, right? That's all. Notice how I'm darkening each piece as well. You, you wanna maintain that each piece is its own shape as well. So if you can acknowledge that, you might find that this looks a lot more realistic as you darken things up. So um, between that and even just some darker tones over here, I think this is looking a lot better. So let's leave it at that. I'm pretty happy with what we have. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll say thank you so much for watching and have a great day.